fine. Alright, and there we go. So, make sure this is all good too. I've been meaning to change this background already with the Batmobiles. <laughs> yeah, I had to go <laughs> and switch, so switch mine up after a while. I was needing some new stuff. So, when so uh, what was your uh, idea of the the Wanda Vision there? It looks pretty good. I'm, I I'm liked down for it. I something like that. I think it's gonna be, and not to like diminish it in any way. I think it's going to be very much. Uh, it's gonna very much be like Legion was, in that it's a yeah, psychological like twist. Uh, yeah. I will say I think it's going to be a little more in control than Legion was, especially seeing as it's going by this, uh, they're taking the 60s sitcom route. I mean, if uh, for people who don't watch sitcoms, because I didn't watch a ton, but I watched a couple as a kid, you can see like Leave it to Beaver stuff in there, I Love Lucy stuff's in there, uh, there's a couple <laughs> other old school ones where they're just referencing all these old shows, um, and I think they're going to play along that really well. Mm-hmm. It it feels it has a little bit of a touch of Tom King's run too to me, um, from that Vision run. He did uh, yeah. With now that you mention it, it it definitely does feel a little bit like that. I think it's gonna run along the kind of course of that, but being especially just seeing some of the the uh, visuals they were showing of the color draining stuff. You've had Vision in his like I love too that all the DC heads are like out there making shit post memes of that one picture of Vision. In that trailer oh. where he's all dressed like old. You oh, know I mean? okay, yeah. <laughs> but, you see, that's that's the whole. That was the whole thing of Tom King's kind of run, though. You know, was him trying to be kind of normal in the society and everything. So he took. Oh no, not not that, that one. Uh, oh, which one are you talking about? There's a scene where he looks like I'll he's in a really up. shitty vision. Cause I can pull it up real quick if I can oh, find it. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. No, 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 no. I yeah, and the memes are all yeah, yeah, over. Yeah. You yeah. know the exact one. It's like yeah. Marvel's yeah. CGI is like, dude, come on, look at the rest yeah. of this bad badass trailer. That's the other thing is it looks good. It does. Yeah, it looks very good. Visually, Visually it looks good. very good. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is important. I think they had a lot of different, like, if you, once again, if you watch through it, because I've seen a couple now, I, there is a lot of good references too. Um, but if you watch through it, the scenes and even the footage is shot in the correct time period, right? So, like, the one vision, like, I just randomly stopped on one of the screens right now, and it's mm -hmm. a, uh, is it looks like an 80s still, probably, maybe a 90s, but it's like an 80s sitcom still. You can tell by like the colors they're wearing, there's like flat tones, there's a lot of like warm mm. wood in the background, shit like, you know what I mean? You just kind of time some of those sitcom things. And then the the vis uh, videography and photography is done in a way that it makes it look like it was kind of filmed in that era. So I think that's yeah. pretty good stuff. I mean, yeah. It It'll be exciting. Um, they didn't give us a date yet, so I'm still hoping for this year, but we'll see. They need something. They need to release something. Well, I know that they have. Uh, what was supposed to be coming out? I, I feel like there was it. something coming out for Disney Plus this oh, year. I mean, oh, well, duh, the Mandalorian at the uh, yeah. Right at, uh, all right, let me let me Halloween, refuse that. Uh, Marvel needs something. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> yeah, that's very true. They ha they haven't had anything on there since the service started. Um, there's just been you know like little shorts here and there, but like nothing of like an actual yeah original content for Marvel just yet on their uh, streaming service. No, I mean, and it's. We do know it's rough. I can't tell if some of these have been updated. I'm looking at release dates for this year, but the problem is... Well, I know is... Winter Soldier got put, because it was supposed to come out this year, but that one for sure they said got pushed now to next year. Um, what, Wanda, I'm not too sure because... All right, this one's from they, four days ago. They're making it sound like they're so, going to release it this year. At the, maybe it looks December like release? December, yeah. That's what yeah, I'm that's seeing what I'm from this. Go for. That's what I'm seeing from this article, but I don't think they have any actual proof. That it's yeah, there. there's there hasn't been official. Then Black yeah, Widow like, is now 2021. Yep, they officially uh, pushed that one. The Eternals yeah. is late 2021, so Shang-Chi middle 2021. So this year has been really... To be fair, it's not like DC did anything great this year as far as mm -hmm. uh, independent independent streaming or anything they made a bunch of announcements well but they didn't actually heard... drop yeah you know you know somebody brought up a good comment i guess it is kind of true at some point one guy was like you know i'm kind of glad that Mar marvel didn't really come out with too much this year because he's like you know i, I was getting a little a little fatigue at that point you know with you know because you know they finished the avengers movie end game and it's like 
okay, bro, where do you go next? And no, it's like... it definitely is a part. And we talked about that the other week where we were talking about uh, how this is going to be the most difficult part of their cinematic journey. Everything mm-hmm. else was, not to say easy, but it's going to be easier than trying to come out after you've finished not a trilogy, but a... a uh, what would you even call it? I, well, that's <laughs> I, the thing. It's, it's unique. Cinematic it's, it's, universe? It's, yeah, yeah. Especially. Cinematic. But except for they're still continuing. They didn't end the cinematic universe. So and it, an arc. A I, it's And that's the problem when looking at it and even analyzing it for the future. There's nothing that's ever been done like this. There is mm-hmm. no... Once again, people will constantly, you know, this on Endgame. And personally, I like... Uh, What's it? Uh, Infinity War more than Endgame as a personal movie, right? As a personal watcher when I watch it, mm-hmm. but as a like critic, there is nothing that has been done that can even be compared to that. Like there is no build. Like I guess the closest thing you could try is DCEU, but it's just a bad comparison, you know? Mm-hmm. Like. It, it it's almost like someone else trying to do your copy your homework badly um which is not what i always i thought dc should do i always thought they should do their own stuff which hopefully with their new turn with the joker and all this flashpoint and suicide squad they will be doing good stuff that's my hope because mm-hmm. yeah i just want to see them get their act together honestly because i'd love to see some really cool <laughs> like like literally everyone's like oh you shit on dc it's like dude like i just tell what I think about the movies, and I think they suck right now most of the time. Like, look, yeah, there's a there's a few there's little gems here and there, but there's yeah. not and, as much as yeah, yeah. And, it, and once again, people will always have the thing. Wonder Woman still being my favorite DCEU movie. Wonder Woman was good. I I enjoy enjoyed that. The only thing, like I said, that is just always that ending with that that boss. I will the, say the that she does show. suffers. It suffers even the ending not being. It suffers from the casting for the villain. Were yeah, that that's like it. some that's big yeah. Just the casting. yeah that's, that's, that's it. it ruined it ruined it for me right there yeah it's that the mustache the whole that whole thing he, the problem felt, is he's just like not a, intimidating as a as a guy it felt like that guy from the you know the cartoon where he's like putting the lady and strapping her into oh, yeah. the train tracks like, twisting mm, his mustache mm, mm, mm. yes you know what it, remind, it reminded me kind of was <laughs> a soft cry to like the uh the uh mandarin in that yeah even though yeah. we did end up getting this big ass boss at the end of it, you're just like, wait, this guy, this guy. Yeah. Having said that, it didn't bother me to the extent that I had to like push it down, but that was definitely one of my no. criticisms that was, of that was the, the movie. only thing yeah. really I could say. About Besides it, but that, honestly, good movie. I really liked it. Uh, and it's it funny because yeah. I'm going back and watching through the MCU for whatever reason. I think my parents were doing it the other night, so I was just catching some of it once in a while. But uh, just going back through the MCU through chronological order. You know, Marvel or yeah, Captain Marvel, America, etc. As opposed to like release order, and it's really interesting going back and watching these movies, these many years later, and realizing that they're not as bad or as good as I thought sometimes. So, for yeah. example, Iron Man Two, right? Which was one of the le- least. Oh wait, was it three or two? I can't. No, two was actually not too bad, right? I think it no, was three. Was, the one. Three was the one everyone got pissed about. The uh, the fucking Mandarin. With the Mandarin, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so two, yeah, it was I guess okay. That's the one where they kind of got more into his. That was drinking. with a little bit. That one was the whiplash one. With the, the drinking in the bottle or the yeah, demon that was, in the bottle kind of stuff. It was it was interesting for sure. I'd say I think my big problem. With it is, I didn't remember it. I, you know what I mean? Like when you think I, about it, can you remember that movie kind of sequenced through, or do you just no, kind of have a general? Is, and so, after, you know, probably not. Just because at the time, you know, I was watching these movies just because they were exciting and fun. Oh, exactly. I wasn't really paying too close attention to like what was really going on in the background, who these characters were. And oh everything. yeah. I just thought it was a fun, awesome movie, but. Yeah, like you said, I don't 
there i mean there, maybe there's a few because those spider-man probably being one of the ones like the first spider-man movie i can remember that movie all the way through because i loved that movie he was always my favorite character so that's one that i will always kind of remember just because i have a special spot special spot for that character so um but like other movies like you're saying uh, iron man yeah i can't really like remember the second one too much the first one a little bit just because it was something brand new and it was kind of exciting where they were showing him putting all the eye uh suit on and having all this cool technology and stuff and i mean that was cool and interesting like i remember a little bit there second one don't really remember any of it thor i don't really remember too much of thor <laughs> either um i actually tell you the truth i never did get to get uh watch captain america because this again this is a time where i wasn't watching all of the movies uh just yet and captain america just wasn't my favorite character too so i didn't really like go at the time to go see him um but it's still a movie i actually have on my list that i just gotta go watch now to see where he plays in the part well, you, of, you uh, definitely got an easy opportunity with disney plus when you get a chance uh and i mean it's a good movie i enjoy it if i had to compare it it would be like the wonder woman movie in fact i'd thanks. say the wonder woman movie took quite a lot of cues from cap um not to say they necessarily stole anything or that it's worse or better just saying that like you will draw clear parallels between cap's story and her story um which is interesting because they're not necessarily similar characters in a lot of ways. <laughs> right. um, having said that, it's, I thought that was interesting because I felt the same way. It had been 10 years or, you know what I mean, since we'd seen some of these movies. Mm -hmm. First Iron Man was what, 2008? Yeah, 2008. Yep. Yeah. And Thor's like 2011. Only no, because once again, we were watching through them, checking the dates. And one thing that really got me while I watched them was the amount of preparation taken for the series there really is a, a really like they did a good job introducing characters so that when later you were asking questions you weren't and once again at that time not being as comic minded right just watching it to watch it i did not catch mm -hmm. those and so going through now i catch a ton of shit you know what i mean like oh shit that that that's a reference that's a reference it's something i actually wish some of the dc series would do more some of them do well some of them not as much um but the big one in, in the the big two I, I point to as really good examples of this are Thor one and Iron Man two, I think it is. So okay. Thor one uh and the reason I say Thor one for a couple, one is it sets up Loki and most of the infinity stones, I feel like. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, very true. Yeah, it starts yeah, with sets the, the scepter which clearly shows mind control effects from the very start. It's very, mm -hmm. very well written that. Uh, but the other big reason Thor gets me for that one is uh, the introduction of Hawkeye. Oh, okay, okay. Was well, See, those are things I, you know... Right, I as a kid, too. I miss it because they don't call him Hawkeye. They call him Barton. Yes. Say, it, take Barton yep. up top. He's like, you want me to take him down? He has the bow and arrow. You know what I mean? It's very clear. It's an easy setup. It's an easy way to incorporate him that when he comes back later in Avengers is not a big deal. You know what I mean? But for people mm -hmm. who know, it is a big deal. It's a nice call. Mm -hmm. Similarly, Black Widow and Iron Man 2 was written in like that. You see, I didn't know that was Black Widow. Yeah, see, she was right. in until, Iron Man 2. Until Avengers, and I actually got deeper into comics as I got older and remembered, and you know what I mean, could remember Natasha Romanoff, because they don't say Black Widow, they just say Natasha Romanoff. Mm -hmm. And she does, she's actually bad in the movie. I forgot, she beats people's ass. She, she's I, there, I remember watching the scene, yeah, where she's fighting in that, that whole White uh, yeah. Room. Yep. Yeah, that's a very famous scene. And I, I actually seen it just pop up on my Facebook feed randomly one day. I actually remember watching it. So, yeah, that, that's a pretty awesome scene for sure. And so it's it really just hit me how these these things really were written like this. It wasn't like they – maybe not all the way, obviously, the same as we talk about for other writers – but in a way that they left it towards a converging story and built themselves those paths. And so that's why when I when I talk about these the the, the scope of trying to like figure out what they're gonna do next, I totally have no fucking clue, dude. Like nobody knows what's gonna happen. I don't they don't know what's gonna happen. No one's ever done this shit. No. I, I assume they have a plan. Because they did it before already and not in the sense that they did, but they've already done something before that nobody else has ever done. Right. Mm -hmm. By making the cinematic universe. 
So it's not a stretch to say that they can do it. It's just I have no clue what they're going to do. Are they going to build to a new big arc over 10 movies in 10 years again? Do they start doing minor sub arcs in all universes? Yeah. that's Because we got the multiverse of madness coming in. There's so many pieces moving in this cog. And, yeah, and that's like why thing I would, is, yeah. Do they do another bigger universe? You know, like right. What, what they what, did, or maybe we go deeper into the cosmology because really we all know, at least comic viewers know, the Infinity Stones are just a gateway into other stories. You know what I mean? The Soul Gem stuff, the worlds, Celestials, the cosmic entities, um, Mephisto, Galactus. You know what I mean? Thanos being a huge threat, and with the Infinity the obviously the infinity stones being nerfed in this one but mm-hmm. it it's just well, I mean, in those things having to <laughs> right yeah, right right, those, those right. you can't write comic books <laughs> can't write those deus ex machinas uh but <laughs> no it, it really was interesting to me how they do it and once again why when people try to compare the two i'm just like look if you if you really looked at the logistics on a board right like write everything on a board and connect the lines pull all of the threads to where they're going like one of the crazy people on the wall Mm -hmm. you got dceu right what does dceu have it's got the snyder stuff those three movies Mm -hmm. batman versus superman man of steel and Justice League, technically, right? Isn't it Justice League? Well, until his one on HBO comes out, I guess it'll be technically yeah, then right it'll be now. Just, yeah. <laughs> but, so those are those. Uh, despite people's thoughts on things, because people don't understand gro- box office gross versus profit. And it, it's, it's funny to me. So people be like, ah, oh, the Avengers made $3 billion. Well, no. It, it didn't. It sold three billion in tickets. It also cost nearly a billion dollars to get the movie made. Mm-hmm. So they only made two billion dollars. That was profit. That's how mm-hmm. successful the movie was. Uh, Joker, ninety million budget, billion dollar sales. That's how successful the movie yeah. is. It's not. You know what I mean? It's not just sales. Sales don't mm-hmm. bring in money by themselves if you spent so much money ahead of time, Justice League, and then didn't get a bunch of money out of it. Even stuff like Batman vs. Superman are good, but did not break the margin that would I would believe put them in successful category for me for characters of that magnitude. Mm-hmm. But once again, even beyond the three and their success, you've got those three, right? Wonder Woman... Aquaman. Uh, I'm becoming a blank. Who are you talking about? Flash? It's not out yet. But, oh, yeah. True. It doesn't count. <laughs> And that's that's gonna be just so weird. Because you know, the thing is, the people Batman movie and him him coming back, Ben the, Affleck for the, the one, Flash movie. And the one thing I'll give the DC that they did is they did latch onto their successful uh, television universe yeah, and tied it into there. Into so it. if it's fine, it's n- I've heard it's good. Some people like it, love it. It's just person to person and it's people like certain shows and don't like certain shows right some people really yeah. like flash don't like supergirl really like arrow Bring don't arrow. like uh legends of tomorrow or black lightning well i heard supergirl's ending here too they just said right i'm surprised it, it made it this down. far it was not that good <laughs> it wasn't bad i just it was about to get canceled in season two i don't remember how it survived then so huh. i'm i mean i'm cool and glad they got here and i'm glad they got to keep them on long enough to tie in all their weird little shows but mm. the at the end of the day and no one's gonna like the sayings for it the the sales from television don't cop to the movies mm-hmm. the the money on television isn't as profitable that's why it's that's why people want to get into the movies you know what i mean uh and more to the point i feel like uh, despite the connections in those universes and the thing uh, when you have 20 plus episodes every season to form and write them, it's not as big of a challenge to connect a television series as a movie. A movie's 
uh, hour and a half to three hours, and that's what you got to tell your story and make your connections. Uh, then you got Marvel, which has as many or more movies than DC has television shows and movies. And then Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to tie in with that as well. And I think a couple others, too, now that actually technically tie. Or were going to tie, maybe, because I think they got canceled. Well, I know the Netflix stuff was kind of tied to it because they had said references. They referenced the, the active, but I don't count it because it doesn't go the other way. Nothing that <laughs> happens in the show. And that's also why I kind of don't count the DC TV show because nothing that happens. The only reason I count the DC TV show is because Ezra Miller showed up. That's literally oh. the only reason I count it. Had Ezra Miller's, Miller not showed up, it would not have counted no matter how much they referenced the universe or anything. Because it might not be the specific same universe, The char- you know what I mean? You don't yeah. know. The characters have to show up. Like, And so I, that's why I gave them that connection. And that's something Marvel just really never got around to, was pulling characters from the movie into the Marvel Netflix shows. Also, the reason I count S.H.I.E.L.D. is because not only did they have Coulson, they also got Samuel Jackson to come do Oh, I didn't know he showed up in the show. I know yeah, Coulson like was once in or there. twice. He doesn't show up a bunch. Huh, like okay. once or twice. Um. Oh, I did. You hear that? Hellstrom is actually back on. They I actually did. just released a teaser trailer. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Like two days ago, so I'm kind of excited that that's back on because I was excited for this more mature kind of take of <clears> you know <throat> for Marvel to go to because you don't you know they have a few mature stuff like Jessica Jones I'm interested to see how it goes I think it's going to be a really tough sale one because the character is just not that well known right? no it's not very well known and it's I not just, uh, it's just one of those things like I'm I'm excited for it I'm not sure if, if my high hopes are that high yeah I just wonder if they're they're hoping that they can get some audience you know with the Lucifer people I and that like was that. actually what I was just gonna mention is that they're they're kind of pulling that same run for Lucifer the problem being Lucifer had done its run and then got cancelled and moved to Netflix mm-hmm. so yes. I'm not sure if the market's there for it and they'll have to compete with that show which is a really good show um, yeah, Saturday. I heard people. There's even people that don't really like, uh, you know, into the comic stuff that like Lucifer. So I've heard. I, you know, I've done both, and they. The, my thing is, if you read the comics, I can't understand why you wouldn't enjoy the show because they make tons of references. Mm, there's okay. a lot of like, nice. are things changed? Yes, but are there tons of references and consistencies that are consistent with the the books and like mm-hmm. things that are. Re- once changed maybe but still the same it's like uh, i don't i don't feel like it was like a whole new character he felt like a different version of the same character it happens okay. you know nice um once again everyone's got their own opinions on those things so i'm not gonna yeah. say that that's 100 percent true just how i felt and once again you can make those connections in the show whether or not they're you like them you know, I can't make you like them, but the connections are there from the show to the comic book. And usually that's a staple of a good uh, adaption, is to have some of the key material there and some new material. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, um, we'll see. I mean, I'll check it out. Oh, I'm going to uh, watch it for sure. I just, I'm not sure exactly how it'll do because yeah, it's well, just an unknown character that, kind yeah, of like swamp exactly. thing like swamp thing i heard was really good and just yeah that's got canceled. Too, but then that's, that's so weird that it got can- but like it got canceled like that like it didn't even get like it like, i don't think it finished its the, run yeah it didn't even finish the run it's like you they at least let them finish it and it's like okay we're not gonna do the next season we're done i think they're I, I truly they think this like, and i have no plug, i have no pr- i have no proof except contextual proof <laughs> And no other reason to believe it, but I I honestly have to think that DC's streaming service was just doing so bad they couldn't afford to keep oh, making it. no, yeah. That's why a lot of the other stuff went to HBO Max. Like, now they, they renewed uh, Season 3 for Harley Quinn, so that, but that's going to be on HBO Max. They did the same that's thing cool. for uh, Young Justice. I still uh, got to watch the most recent season. Yeah, so do I. Um, what else? The, oh, Doom Patrol is actually just got renewed as really? well for HBO Max. I think that's, so. I've that's pretty cool. Sure. I like Doom Patrol. I, I didn't think it might get renewed, but I'm glad it did. I still got to finish yeah, the last it's, episode. It's, a, it's for sure a, a very wacky kind of oh, yeah. show. Sure. I told someone, I was like, I got like 30 seconds into this show and I was hooked. 
um, I think that's it though so far that I've heard of. Yeah, um, I don't think I, there's much else coming. Yeah, um, if they still, if they do do the DC universe thing, I mean, they just should just go kind of with the Marvel unlimited, you know, route. That I way. Just, yeah, just at this point, books. yeah, just make I, it an all digital. At like, the same uh, time, I know a bunch universe. of people who don't use unlimited because they just can't wait six months for scans, man. Like, I'd be it's cool a, yeah, for a couple time. months. I'd be cool for two. I think two months I could do. I think that's a uh, reasonable. I mean, it, it makes sense, you know. Like, no, I know, understand they have to do it to maintain comic sales. Like, I know the that, business practicality behind it. Then, too, just for the comic shops as well, you know, because oh, if they yeah. were just to release two months, everyone would be like, I don't need to go to the comic shop. I'll just wait two months. That's <laughs> true. But, but uh, so I mean, that, I understand in that that sense of way. But like you said, yeah, it's just so long to wait six months to to read That's the issues, long... and then by then everyone's already talking about what's going on. Right, You're you've like, been spoiled by the time the issue comes I... out. Yeah, <laughs> but hey, man, that's the business. So. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what they do with the service. I mean, they still have comics. I mean, on there, why wouldn't they, I guess, just go with the comic route? Unless they just want to kill the whole program, I guess. I, I, I think that they won't kill it. I hope they just adapt it. I mean, they've made it. They've put the time into it. And they really do need something like that for DC. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I, who, I mean, there's people who don't want to collect physical, and they do want to just read digital, so they will see sales in it. I mean, I would see. Once but... again, you'll see sales. Digital sales have always been a thing. Well, not always. Once they became, they always were a thing. They're just trying to maintain the health of the comic industry and your business. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, I get that it's a tough line. I just – I think we all knew that the way they set it up was not working. Like – No. The, the mix was too heavy between the shows and the TVs and the comics and whatever else they had tied up into one thing. And it's cool, right, that you get access to all this stuff. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's too much shit. You're not focusing enough to profit. (laughs) And I know um, it's weird for me to say that because I'm always like, for more, more, more. But, like, sometimes you got to focus, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was one of the great things about Marvel Unlimited was really focused just on the comic books like you got little mm-hmm. links and shit to other videos or whatever some lit some some bull crap but it really was you logged in here's your comic download it read it or live read it but man their loading times were not great i really hope they improve those <laughs> i think they were just uploading their images to too high of a resolution could have been too um you know, well, I guess we'll see what happens with that service. Like I said, the, a lot of that stuff went to HBO Max now, and uh, and it's a great service, too. I do like Max a little bit. They you know, I keep hearing it's really good, content. and I really should use it because I get it for free from my internet provider. Might as well. You right, yeah. It free. It's on my – oh, you know what? I'm going to step on there. Uh, maybe I'll try that because ha- i got to do a new reaction series. So I'm, Did I'm you ever like uh, the regular show stuff? Yeah, I enjoyed the regular show. There's um The creator has his own original stuff on there. Now I too, heard, it's yeah, that he was making. It's more for a mature audience, though. Right, it's not and I'm, I'm wondering because the regular show Actually, for me was like uh, – there's another – there's other shows kind of like it too that I didn't quite vibe with like uh, Gumball. Adventure Time. Adventure oh, Time like too. Gumball? It's not that I didn't like Gumball. I just didn't like vibe with it as heavy as Adventure Time. It was Ah. a more modern, kiddish take, whereas Adventure Time was kind of done from, like, an angsty teen's point of view, I'd say. (laughs) She's like, what are you doing? Your mom's doing. You know what I mean? (laughs) Uh, Speaking of, I actually have to go here in just a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, Did we want to cover some quick topics before then? uh let's see then so um i don't know if we talked about it but we were talking about the hasbro con yeah and all the toys that they had yeah uh, last two days they had a couple had a couple cool things coming up for star wars power rangers ghostbusters transformers they had some cool beast war stuff coming out uh, for transformers because they're doing the that whole um transformers age of cybertron thing on netflix oh yeah 
I think yeah, they're. Uh, I haven't. I've watched a little bit of the first season, um, but it looks like they're kind of like adding like they're like going to different like eras of the. Oh, of the Transformers. Like, but okay. like Optimus Prime is like the main one that we know is going to these eras, and I don't know. Uh, I have to get more into the season because that looks like what the toy line is doing because they're adding the Beast Wars just randomly. <laughs> I mean, Beast Wars has always them. been a really popular. Uh, Outlet I loved it. For I, I, I Beast Wars was really how I got into Transformers. There was like a Beast Wars game. The Transformers were really honestly like, like I like cars and all that and everything, but like when the, they started changing in the gor- uh, gorilla and the cheetah and yeah, like, okay, this I was is like, yeah, this is my cooler. shit, Robo Cheetah. <laughs> no, I really like those. I remember there was this Transformers game that really got me into Transformers. That was a Beast Wars game. Oh, and there goes my camera. So figured oh, that was. God, happening I do soon. remember they had a Beast Wars game. I do remember that. Yeah, it was really that was good. Awesome. Well, we got toys coming out. We got more comics, and hopefully, we'll be able yeah. to do more consistent stuff. I had that, I had those weeks more off because I was in Vegas, and then, oh man, I had formatted this file I wasn't supposed to, or drive I wasn't supposed to. I had to go recover all those. Oh, no, oh, nice. Yeah. Well, super yeah. Fun. There's, uh, yeah, like I said, there's just those toys. Um, just uh, comics we still got coming out. Nothing really, nothing in the movies for this year. It looks like it looks like we're pretty much done for movies. Yeah, I think we're pretty year. fucked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we got fucked for movie the year with no movies. Oh, I man. only watched Bill and Ted, and that was it. And I was supposed to go see New Mutants, but I just haven't gotten the time to. Go and see, check mine's it out, is so. the exact opposite. It's like I've only seen New Mutants, but I'm supposed to go watch Bill and Ted. <laughs> Oh, I love Bill and Ted, man. You gotta go see New it. Mutants it was is pretty good. good. It was I a gotta good go heartfelt see New Mutants, movie though. for sure. The way they ended it, so that's good. Um, I I, yeah, I, like it. I think New Mutants was pretty good. I can't rank it into like a critic until I see it again. Personally, I probably enjoyed it at like an eight, maybe okay. maybe seven and a half, depending. Okay. I I think I probably liked it a little more because of the actors and some of the choices they made, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, overall, story it was good. wise, it kind of oh, fell yeah. flat though. No, no, story was fine for me. It was okay. there was the horror aspect for me was really the only thing that kind of fell flat in that. Like, uh, okay. And some people like my mom thought it was scary. I get that, but she thinks everything's scary. So, <laughs> uh, and that's not to say it didn't have a tone of horror. I think really it was some of the filmography not being dark enough. Maybe some stuff like that. Um, okay. Okay. You'll have to see it and you know kind of judge I'll for yourself, just like everyone else. But I, I I enjoyed it for what it was, which was an adaption of the New Mutants comic. I thought it was good. And okay. I like the way they display powers. They did change things. They always do. Uh, and I won't spoil what they changed, but I feel like the changes they made were more character development changes as opposed, as opposed to, like, character... Uh, there was one decision that kind of pissed me off. But besides that one decision that kind of pissed me off, I think everything else I was chill with. Okay. Nice, nice. All right, we'll have to check it out still. But it's on my uh, watch list for sure. Um... Uh, yes, yeah, like, the watch like I said, there's, there's nothing really else that they wanted to pull up right here. Um, we can talk about a little bit more some comics a little bit later. A um, couple stuff I did start catching up on some reading now. I'm starting to even purge some of my reading list too. Yeah, it's, you, it's like, so I'm reading big. like junk. I'm reading junk, bro. Dude, like, like I, sometimes you have to cut books. They like even books that you feel like you should read, like. Sometimes you just have to cut these books where you're just like, I really kind of want to read this, but I don't have time and it's not important. So, all right, example, uh, Wolverine, like, I don't remember what it is, like 20 some 20 XX or some shit, the new one they released, where it's just about the robot Wolverine. Oh, yeah, 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 because they were it's doing junk. that Iron Man it's age junk. thing. Yeah, it was, yeah, I don't even yeah, know what it is. Stop doing that. I, it's just, it's just junk and I shouldn't stop and read, but I've read two or three, you know what I mean? And so it's like, all right. But yeah, I think we'll cover comics more next week. This week, I guess, was more of a movie episode. But uh, thanks for joining me again. Hopefully we'll be on again next weekend. Sunday is our usual time, and we'll do more comic convos. All right, sounds good. See you guys later. If you enjoyed watching and want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.